Air ball from the corner for the freshman Jeremy Roach. Louisville in transition and a block for Matthew Hurt. Boy, the last possession, Louisville did a really nice job of helping and recovering. How well is DJ Stewart playing recently? He led Duke with 17 in their lock. Amazing how many rebounds that Carly Jones gets at his size. And then how he gets where he wants to get about 99.9% .9 of the time, it seems. Neither team has had a ton of success making shots on the offensive end. They're playing hard, but I haven't seen the ball go in the bucket. Hurt, five inches taller than Johnson, over him and a foul. What are you going to do? Or create for us. Yes, yes. And when they get good cutting and good movement. How about what Mark move. Williams? Boy, with the left hand up to the three-point line, and they're essentially daring Louisville to shoot over the top and see if they can make threes. And that's the first one they knocked down. David Johnson. And Max said he never misses a mid-range jumper. Practice, game, never. And here they go. Like a better offensive team than they did early on. And now a steal by Johnson. One-on-one -on -one with Goldwire. It's a 14-0 run for Louisville. And it's a tie game. There's a lot of contact on that drive. And when you need a bucket, Duke goes to Matthew Hurt. Well, that was a tough shot because Matthew Hurt was right there with a hand up. Quick one from Roach. And the lead grows for the Blue Devils. Good look for Williamson on the feed from Jones and the follow for Johnson. Against BC last night. Duke winning easily, 86-51. And there's Nickelberry knocking down a three. And Jones behind the back, doing a little bit of everything. Good pass. They need this one. And they will get it. Shot clock at two. Williams again. Nothing trainer can do. The Blue Devils will advance to the quarterfinals to take on the Seminoles as they win for the second time in as many nights.